Hey guys, Diaper Dynamo here, and you're watching vlog number four. My last video, I asked it, you know, if you guys had any questions you want to ask me to post them in the comments below. Uh, that still goes, so feel free to continue posting questions. The first one that I'm going to go ahead and tackle is a question coming in from Lester. So thank you for the question, Lester. Lester asks, how I got introduced to diapers and how I got interested in them. Great question, Lester, and I'm sure many others out there are wondering the same thing because I don't really talk about it too much. For me, my issues started when I started wetting the bed. Actually, I was about 14 years old and I started having periodic wetting incidents. At first, it wasn't too much of a concern because they were sporadic at best, but then frequency increased and it caused some concern for me and my father. Naturally, he insisted on taking me to the doctor to make sure you know there wasn't any kind of infection or anything like that. As time went on, the wetting frequency increased from you know once a week to every day after seeing a few doctors one of them finally recommended that I use protective underwear at the time I had never heard the term so it threw me off and I was like what's that and so the doctor explained what it was and afterwards I was like so you mean a diaper his response was well yeah but we don't really like to call it that because that makes people uncomfortable I mean, come on, that's like taking broccoli and calling it candy and trying to make a kid eat it and say, hey, eat this candy. They still know it's broccoli. So anyway, that doctor planted the seed in my mind and you know, after a few more weeks of putting up with waking up to cold wet sheets and doing laundry every morning, it gets tiresome. Not to mention my whole room constantly smelled, smelled like pee. I was afraid to have friends over because of it, so I decided to give diapers a try. I started off with Good Nights. This was, you know, back in the year 2000 when Good Nights were first starting to emerge. When I was already at that age, it was kind of borderline, like, hey, you should probably move up a level. And I definitely realized that they were not adequate for my needs, which of course led to me trying Depends, which was the only, you know, reasonable alternative at the time, which for me worked great at first. and definitely improved the quality of my life immediately. I mean, you really quickly will realize that waking up in a warm, dry bed is much better than waking up in a cold, wet one. It's a much better start to your day, that's for sure. Quickly realize the more sensual pleasures that a warm, wet diaper has to offer. You know what I'm talking about. Which led me to the realization that I actually liked wearing diapers, which led me to discover the, the adult diaper community out there of those who are not only incontinent, but enjoy wearing diapers, uh, even if they don't have any kind of an issue. That's the basic gist of it in a nutshell. I mean, there's a lot more details in there that I'm not really uh, including right now because it just takes too much time to explain. But that is my story in a nutshell. So thanks Lester for the question. And if anyone else out there has any other questions or uh, wants to pick my brain about anything else outside of the diaper subject, uh, I definitely would love to talk about anything. So put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your diaper wearing buddies. Thanks for watching. And until next time, stay dry.